In Kenya, enterprising farmers are exploring ways to expand their businesses and maximize their profits. One way to go about this is healthy foods for healthy living. In comes the highly nutritious meat in the vegetable world. This week on Seeds of Gold, we are going to demystify the mycelium life form that has even expert mycologists baffled. They may look like umbrellas, but they do not depend on rainfall to flourish. Sit back, relax and get ready to learn about mushrooms, our spawns of gold on Seeds of Gold. Professor Wagar, Karibu Sana, Nairobi County, Tagore. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Now, um, tell us about yourself a bit, or what, what do you do? Um, Nyokafi Wagara, I'm an associate professor of plant pathology at Igaton University, okay. Department of Biological Sciences, okay. specializing in mycology. Mycology. Yeah. So you're an expert in mushrooms? Somehow. Somehow. <laughs> yes. So today we visited this farm where we have a farmer who deals with mushrooms, so we can go meet him. Okay, okay. thank you. Habarizenu. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm looking for a farmer by the name of Mohair. Yes, please. Oi, ni wewe? Ah, ni mimi. Ay, ngoja. Mimi ni kikuja, niliambo na kuja kuona farmer amefanya mushroom farming for at least seven or more years. Nanda huyu umempata farmer. Wewe? Eh. Okay, <laughs> uh, Mohe. Yes, yes. Uh, this is uh, Professor Wagar. Uh, nice to meet Mohe you. Mohe is fine. Yes, from uh, Igaton University. Ah, uh, pleasure. Ah, okay. Uh. So, ni 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 naendelea hapa. Aya. Mushrooms kwa ni sikuzi zinakai hivi ni for magani ya mushrooms. Hii sasa ni kutengeneza substrate. Mm -hmm. Substrate ya mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Tunatumia wheat straw. Mm -hmm. Wheat straw sasa ndo iko na madini yenye mushrooms in attacker mm -hmm. then kuna supplements tunaongeza mm -hmm. eh okay. so ana kabla tuingize ma complications zote mm -hmm. Ebu, just tell us a bit of your story when you started how you started and why you started uh, generally I started like 7 years ago mm -hmm. eh na mapanda shuka zake uh -huh. kuweka nikifail niki kuweka mm -hmm. kibackfire mm -hmm. but through research mm -hmm. connect na kusoma kwa watu kadha kadha mm -hmm. then i made it okay. finally but see i didn't lose hope mm -hmm. then uh, what i have ni passion ya farming mm -hmm. and i wanted to do something different mm -hmm. from the rest mm -hmm. eh sasa nikaamua kufanya mushroom farming professor wagara yes uh, tell us about mushroom what, what is mushroom and why can people eat mushroom so why should people eat mushroom mushroom is a very high value food mm -hmm nutritionary in terms of uh, medical benefits mm -hmm. mushrooms are very high in protein mm -hmm. in essential minerals mm -hmm. like potassium calcium iron phosphorus mm -hmm. and also vitamins mm -hmm. actually mushroom is referred to as a vegetable meat yes. because there are some nutrients mm -hmm. that you get in mushrooms you which can... you can only get in animal meat protein yes yeah there are many myths associated with mushrooms. For instance, ancient Egyptians believed they bestowed immortality. Whichever the case, never eat a mushroom that you are not 100% sure is safe to eat. Reason being there are varieties of mushrooms that are highly poisonous and can sicken or kill. Not all mushrooms are edible. We have edible mushrooms, we have poisonous ones, mm. and mushrooms are lethal. The poisonous ones are lethal. They will kill you very fast. Not, not. So actually, if you have no traditional knowledge mm -hmm. on which mushrooms are edible and which ones are poisonous, mm -hmm. don't attempt to collect mushrooms from the wild. Mm -hmm. Prof, you've mentioned substrate. Uh, uh, Mohe, you've mentioned substrate. E substrate in you. Substrate ni kama chakula yake mushrooms. Ah, in the, yeah. okay. No, chakula yake mushrooms. So yeah, it's like uh, what we have soil mm -hmm. for crops. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So mushrooms you grow on, on the substrate. substrate. So yeah. this 
the substrate. Yeah, this is the substrate. Or this is now no, this the, is process the process of for, making. Exactly. Mushroom planting process can be divided into several steps, starting with spawns, which are the mushroom seeds, compost or substrate, which is the base on which the mushroom is grown. It constitutes of a mixture of wheat straw prepared with several ingredients, including gypsum, cotton seed milk, urea, and others than spawning or the actual planting. So why buttons large scale, why uh, oysters uh, in a small scale, and why not shiitake, why this one over the other one? Okay, now button mushroom, uh, they are garlicas, it's a secondary decomposer. It cannot um, get nutrients from like wheat straw. Mm -hmm. It will only get nutrients from partially decomposed um, substrate. Mm. And that's why the, the process of composting has to be done. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a challenge to most of the small scale farmers. Okay. The, the entire process of composting needs quite some bit of input. Yes. And also uh, technical know how. Okay. So, this is one of the things that discourages most of the small scale farmers yeah. who are just starting. So more here. You decided button yes. and you're a small scale farmer. Yes. Why wait. Probably I think you're a small scale farmer but you are a large scale farmer. <laughs> <laughs> you're a small scale farmer. Uh sijakuwa mkubwa sana kwa farming. Ah yeah. So uh, so. So uh, why did you decide button? Eh uh, one buttons kwa soko zina move haraka sana. Ah. Awezi uh, hustle okay. nazo kama oyster. Okay. While mushroom farming is a profitable venture, you should get some training before you start because you will find the process of planting and substrate preparation to be quite scientific and must be done right. Tuseme uko na do peke yake ya kuanza hii biashara na ume na you know which we are not going to say is which amount we we'll just put it at x because depending on the amount of uh, business you want to Engaging so yes, you can pesa a pesa Unanza na nini wapi na hitaji mwe. Aya, kitu yenye una hitaji kwanza, kuna structures zenye lazima ziwe. Okay. Hizo structures ukiwa nazo, mm -hmm. sasa ndo unaweza fikiria mambo ya kutengeneza substrate. Sababu bila structures, mm -hmm. ukitengeneza substrate, hakuna place, uta, uta, una, una place ya kuiweka. Okay. E. Okay. Hizo structures, kuna dark cold room, mm -hmm. kuna steaming room ama tunnel, mm -hmm. na kuna shade. Okay. Hizo e, so, sasa, tukizifikia, tukiwa na hizo sasa, we are good them. to go. Yeah. But okay. kukuja hapa kwa substrate, mm -hmm. yenye tunahitaji, ni... We wheat straw, mm -hmm. hii ni nyasi ya ngano, mm -hmm. ndo mimi sasa natumia. Okay. E, Profesa amesema kuna, yeah. kuna aina nyingi yeah. ya kutengeneza substrate, mm -hmm. lakini mimi na specifically na natumia wheat straw. Okay. Kuna process ya kwanza, tunayita soaking. Soaking mm -hmm. ni kuweka kwa maji na kutengeneza hip. Okay. Hii hip inasaidia hiyo nyasi, mm -hmm. it decompose. Uh. Then kutoka hapo, tunafanya turnings. Okay. Sasa kama vile wanatoa pandile, wanaileta hivi. Okay. Iyo inasaidia na aeration, Aha. kueka nini, Aha. hewa, mm -hmm. na ina... Na, then hizo turnings tunaweka vitu kama, sasa supplements. Mm -hmm. Sasa madini ni inahitajika. Okay. Vitu kama kuna urea, mm -hmm. kuna urea ndo tunaanza nayo, mm -hmm. then kuna molasses. Okay na kuna cotton seed. Mm -hmm. So you have uh, urea, you have the molasses, yeah. you have the cotton, seeds. cotton seed. Cotton seeds, yes. Yes. Na kuna kuna vitu vingine kama gypsum. Mm -hmm. Tunaweka bado kwa watanning kama vile wana, wana turn. Mm -hmm. Gypsum na kuna lime mm -hmm. ya kucontrol pH. Mm -hmm. Kuna MOP hiyo ni murit of potassium. Mm -hmm. Na kuna SSP. Mm -hmm. Na SSP nayo ni SSP ni ya phosphorus. phosphorus. Okay. Yes. Okay. Ni ya kuongeza phosphorus. Okay. Eh. All right. Yeah, like yeah. the gypsum is added to improve the physical properties. Uh -huh. Yeah. Cuz like the straw is greasy a bit. Mm -hmm. So the the gypsum will help to reduce that. Yes. Improve the um, aeration properties mm -hmm. so that eventually mm -hmm. Um, there is good aeration mm -hmm. in the compost that he finally uses to grow the mushroom. Mm -hmm. How long does it take this whole process? Uh, generally, it takes 
roughly 25 mm-hmm. 35 days 25 yeah, depend, days. depending on the uh, attorney okay yes 25 to 35 days yes. now when after the 25 to 35 days mm-hmm. are you now ready to plant the mushrooms yes we tonight are spawning okay oh. <clears throat> uh, are you ready to spawn your mushrooms? yes <laughs> we are now ready to spawn the mushrooms okay the ingredients required in making the synthetic compost include wheat straw rice or bran ammonium sulfate among others the substrate is ready when the straws become easy to bend and have a high water holding capacity color changes and becomes darker and has a strong smell of ammonia so, so 25 days are done no, the next stage no, not yet mm-hmm. 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 25 days. So, pale me manage to scoop Pale, okay, after it take one week. Uh-huh. So, pale me 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 at least could reduce microbacteria mm. na ku kutoa ammonia could reduce ammonia okay yes okay yes so this is your steaming system yes this is my steaming system okay. yes a mushroom is a fungi body most mushrooms are secondary decomposers meaning they cannot feed on fresh substrate but instead they must decompose this is why the substrate is steamed to kill all existing organisms Maybe something I would want to recommend mm-hmm. is that you can construct uh, uh, an en- energy saving jiko where the sites are covered. Yeah, so that you don't use a lot of yeah, firewood. Because in this way a lot of heat also is yeah, being, being lost to yeah. the sites. Yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. So tuki tukifungulia hapa mm-hmm. steam inaanza kuingilia mm-hmm. hapa sasa hii pipe unaona imeenda hivi round mm-hmm. iko na iko na shimo mashimo eh sasa okay. tukiekelea tukipanga hizi vizuri mm-hmm. tunaekelea gunia yetu mm-hmm. gunia yetu hivyo then tunaeka mchanga mm-hmm. then tuki steam ikiingia ikija hapa kwa hii mm-hmm. hollow space mm-hmm. inaanza kupanda mm-hmm. sasa inafika hapa juu ikiwa mm-hmm. 100 degrees celsius mm-hmm. ikifika ikiwa 100 degrees celsius uko sure ati imewa all the microbacteria mm-hmm. yes sasa okay. hiyo mchanga iko iko good to go okay. na hiyo mchanga lazima iwe virgin soil mm. yenye ijayi tumika Ajay. tena did you know that mushrooms are more closely related in dna to humans than to plants like human skin mushrooms can produce vitamin d by being exposed to sunlight and have more amino acids than corn peanuts or soybeans and ndio ujue ati hiyo mchanga pia inahitaji kustimiwa nini unahitaji kufanya na mushroom ndio ufike stage fulani wa yes. hizo nazo ujifunzia wapi hizo sasa ni ku learn kutoka kwa watu wengine mm. na kutoka kwa internet mm. e, kidogo, so ukianza ulifanya research you went to other people's farms yes, to learn about nilienda jikwat nikafanya mm-hmm. small course ah yes. nice ah. okay and then you know because it's very important to actually know yes. what you do so steam comes from there uh, it comes from from here mm. na kuja hivi so how do you ensure imeingia uko ndani una una gurumisha machine sasa aha eh hey, una gurumisha ah. sasa eh hey, una connect hapo una connect hapo you can just connect uh-huh. then gurumisha utasikia sasa ni just connect ah. eh hey. okay mm. so you connect hivi tu itaanza kuguruma connect then we just it was there okay Necessity, the mother of invention. Invention, the solution to our daily prob- daily, not dairy. Okay, even dairy problems, but daily <laughs> problems. When we come back on Seeds of Gold, we are going to go through the steaming process and Did you know that mushrooms grow best in dark rooms? They are shy. Keep it Seeds of Gold. Mushroom farming is a lucrative venture only if from the onset you invest in getting the right information especially on the planting process and of course identify your market beforehand more to come after the break
Now, the journey is labor intensive, but we've not even started spawning the mushrooms themselves. Right now, we are still preparing the substrate. There are quite a number of people who are trying to make spawn. Mm. It's a highly technical uh, process. Yes. And you require some equipment. Yes. You require to work in a sterile condition. Yes. Those equipment, uh, mainly you only get them in the universities or the research institutes. Okay. And like Egerton University is already producing spawn, mm -hmm. but at the moment for research mm -hmm. activities mm -hmm. and for our extension farmers, mm -hmm but uh, it's in the process of producing commercial spawn. Spawning is the actual process of planting the mushrooms. The spawn or mushroom seed is spread on the surface of the compost. After making the substrate, pack it into clear bags. This makes the observation easier so that the farmer has an idea of the changes going on in the bag. It also makes spotting of disease and infections easier. For disease prevention, have a footpath for anyone coming to your mushroom farm. Other spawns. Yes, they are, they are the spawned bags. Call it the incubation period. Mm -hmm. It runs for about one month. Mm -hmm. And one probably 30 to 32 days. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. So 30 to 32 days in this dark room? Yes. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Because uh, after two days, we top dress. Mm -hmm. Top dressing is putting some more spoons mm -hmm. on top. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then Why after. Is that? Okay, that, that one helps in your, the Utavuna Kwanza. Kabla hi mbegu kochini, ipande, paka apaju. Okay. Ilo ndizo zina kuhelp, kuvuna kwanza. Then after two weeks, we do the casing mm -hmm. with soil. Casing ni kuweka mchanga hapa juu. Mm -hmm. Tunaweka mchanga hapa juu. Mm -hmm. Then we, we wrap the bags again. Mm -hmm. We wrap the bags again. Yeah. Uh, because the the incubation period in a run, bag ki were wrapped. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So then we wait for another two weeks, we unwrap the bags mm -hmm. and incubation period in Ahitaji at least 25 mm -hmm. degrees centigrade. Dokuran, mm -hmm. mycerium. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mushrooms are grown in the dark because they do not need light. They don't have chlorophyll nor do they perform photosynthesis. The best temperature of growth is around 25 degrees centigrade of the substrate. Occasionally, spread some water on the surface of the substrate. This should take two weeks to start fruiting. Hey, okay. Hey. So this is now what is called the pinning. This is the pinning. Mm -hmm. These are the pinheads. Mm -hmm. This is in Dogo. They, they look the like heads. buttons, that's why they are called button mushrooms. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So, what is the ideal size to sell them at? Amani, unafa actually maturation period. Uh, uh, how long? After umefungwa bags, mm. it takes like seven days. Mm. In another, in a, in a grow, mm. uh, in a grow very fast. Mushrooms are harvested severally throughout their lifetime. These are called flushes. The first flush comes 15 to 20 days after soil casing. Alafu uh, uta harvest koi bag moja maran. Ngapi for how long? Uh, una you harvest for two months. Two months from one bag? Yes. Mm -hmm. At least yeah. for a killer yeah. month. Uh. In a kupatia kg ko killer month. Mm -hmm. uh, hey. the, the ideal size for harvesting mm -hmm. ni this one. Okay. This is the ideal size for harvesting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why that small? Uh, okay. You'd I'd think that the mm -hmm. ideal size would be something like this, probably here. Even that one. There's something very, very, very big and juicy here. Yeah. The that important one. thing mm -hmm. is that they should not have opened. Yes. If it opens up, mm. it will re the other side will start to change color. Ah, yeah. Because yeah. it will be a umbrella. Yeah, it will yeah. yeah. black chini. Yeah, black yeah. chini, yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if it's fully mature, mm -hmm. it will open up mm -hmm. and release spores mm -hmm. which are dark in color mm -hmm. so the consumers will not want that so mm -hmm. they want it before it opens up mm -hmm. but, but yeah. still nika set up to konawe kenya mm -hmm. atikiwa kubwa zaidi ya hii mm -hmm. 
hawaitaki lakini ikiwa kubwa bado ni edible mm-hmm. but most of the people wanataka ikiwa kwa shelf mm-hmm. i think wanaangalia kakiwa ka smart mm-hmm. kakiwa hii size yeah and how long after harvesting should uh, the mushroom be already kwa sufuria imepikwa na ya <laughs> ama inaweza ka kwa shelf for how long without refrigeration or with refrigeration Shel- shelf life mm. lakini ina kwa shelves za supermarket ziko ziko at least conducive kwa ke mm. they take we normally advise 7 days mm. from the time to harvest from harvest yes so we, we harvest the same day we take to the market mm. yes. For each kilogram of mushrooms, a farmer earns between 600 and 800 Kenya shillings. The major problem facing mushroom farmers in Kenya is marketing. Some farmers have come up with creative ways of adding value to mushrooms, such as powder to make mushroom porridge. First, identify do a market survey. Know where you sell your your mushrooms. Because in three day, when they are mature, mm. uh, they have to be harvested. Yes. And when they are harvested in three days, they you have to sell color. them. Yeah. And there's you are refrigerating them mm. for seven days, mm. or for your addition. Yeah. Okay. Now we have farmers out there who you know individuals who have been in the business who have been who have keen interest in the business and we want to bring to light some of uh, the or one of the most important bits in uh, mushroom farming which is first the figures and then the challenges so for this let us step into the light yes <laughs> abu hey okay mwangaza mhm a mushroom house should not be close to a cattle shed. This is because the flies from the cattle can contaminate the mushrooms. Mushroom waste can be used as a feed or soil additions for plants. We are now at that section of the show where everybody has been waiting for it. The math. Seeds of gold is all about the math. We've covered the spawn. Now we are going to focus on this on the gold. Now, when you started this business 7 or so years ago, How much did you start with if you can remember not more than 100 not more than 100 yes. okay ah yeah and uh, now that you at least pile uh, you within the seven years you've been able to stabilize in terms of production you have x amount that you produce and you get x amount and you spend x amount to be able to produce that so can you give us just rough estimates of how much you spend probably for the spawn and what you spend on and such like Okay uh, in in a bag probably I used like 200 shillings. So you have 200 shillings for that one bag that's yes. how much you spend. Yes. Now how much will that bag give you? Uh, it will give me probably 2 kg at least. 2 kg. Yes. And how much will you sell and that's 2 kg in what duration? In a duration of 2 months. 2 months yeah. And it so in that 2 months it will give you 2 kg. Yes. And uh, how much do you sell a kg for? The least you can sell it sell like a if it goes for 500 shillings 500 shillings so uh 2 kg for 500 shillings that's 1000 that's 1000 shillings yeah. for that one bag yes <clears throat> so 1000 shillings for one bag and you've only spent 200 shillings on it yes so you have a margin of at least 800 shillings in that bag yes. that's your profit now and <clears throat> And you have nimeanza kushikwa na joto ndani nikifanya hesabu and you have at least a thousand bags yes every two months yes. if i can call it that. yes yes so a thousand, so every two months mm. you have at least 800000 shillings yeah probably yes so this is a very huge benefit mm. prof Yes. But please you know because most people will say eh hey, mnatuambia tu zile vitu mzuri ah ah now tell us what are some of the challenges that mushroom farmers face one of the biggest challenges is marketing mm-hmm. and probably Mohia should tell us where he sells his mushrooms mm-hmm. because it's a highly perishable crop mm-hmm. and farmers produce without fast identifying the market. Yes. The other challenge is in terms of spawn. Mm-hmm. And this 
very key mm -hmm. because you start off with bad seed you'll get, you'll get bad product or, or no product, no product. Yes. At all. You will get yes. nothing uh, getting high quality spawn is a real challenge mm -hmm. and that's why most of the people including mohair mm -hmm. are using imported spawn, spawn. Mm -hmm. Yes, but our running institutions, our universities and research institutes are coming up. Mm. The other problem and which we have also seen here a bit is on pests and diseases. Mm. Another real problem. Mm. Because like for some of the diseases, if they attack mm. or mm. for some of the contamination, then you lose the entire crop. crop. Yeah. Any final word, Mohia? My youths kuna kazi. Si wongo. Tusilie government ingilia kati. Serikali saidia. Apana. Mm. Sasa ni sisi tuingilia kati. Mm. Sia ti kila yes. time unaenda shule unasema unataka kuajiriwa. Mm. Hakuna job ya mm. kuajiriwa. Sasa ni uajiri watu wengine. Mm. Eh. So, professor, final word from you. Uh, I'm very impressed uh, by what Mohe is doing. He's quite innovative mm. in what we have seen. Yes. And he's a young person who has taken up this agricultural enterprise. He's also employing people. Mm -hmm. So I would wish that the other youth would follow his steps. Okay. Thank you very much, Professor. Thank you, Thank you also. for being with us. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you very much, Bwana Mohia. Yeah. San Sana. San Sana. Me and Tata Kuhasu. Thank you very much and congratulations. <laughs> Keep up. Asante. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. <sighs> Demand. 1,200 tons. Supply, 500 tons. This is a market that has a huge potential for growth. But key to remember is first identify the market. Know where to take your produce. And with that, you'll really enjoy the benefits of the mushroom business. Next stop, value addition. Keep it seeds of gold. Now this next location is quite interesting because it takes me way back to when I would visit the ASK annual show with my school. As it was then, it still is the same now, except this time I'm on a totally different mission. And our mushroom journey still continues. Right now we are at the showgrounds where we are looking for an individual who does value addition with mushrooms. This year's turnout of the show was good with impressive stands that represented a variety of agriculture produce from animal feeds, tomatoes, coffee, to different technologies in agriculture. My main aim here though is to meet Miss Anne Mohia. Mushrooms, mushrooms. That's our focus today. Eh? Ah. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank Anne. you. Yes, Anne is my name. Martin. Martin. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. <laughs> Karibu Delight Mushrooms. Asante sana. So you are Delight Mushrooms or it is just the mushrooms that are Delight uh, Mushrooms? Delight Mushroom is the company. Uh -huh. I am the face okay. behind Delight Mushrooms. Okay. Yeah. Tell us a bit about the face behind Delight Mushrooms. My background is a hotel manager. Uh -huh. By the time I was hitting 30, mm -hmm. I was fed up with okay. employment uh -huh. and the hotel. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for an exit plan, okay. early retirement, you mm -hmm. know, and I was mm -hmm. thinking, who retires at 30? Yeah. But I took the risk. Uh -huh. I woke up uh, December and I quit my job. Mm -hmm. Then January, I was like, I made a personal decision mm -hmm. that moving forward, I want to be a church girl. Uh -huh. First of 2011, uh -huh. on a Sunday, I was in church. Uh -huh. And that's when I heard about mushrooms in church. <laughs> hey. So yes. conveniently on the day you decided yes. to be a church girl and go to church. Yes, you know that that January 1st when after the Kesha, yes. when people go to church, yeah. I was seated there. Uh -huh. Then this community social worker comes mm -hmm. 
and she talks about uh, income generating activities. Mm -hmm. And in the sheet, there was a fish pond farming, mm -hmm. textile, soup making, mm -hmm. fabric, yogurt. Mm -hmm. Then at the bottom most, mm -hmm. there was mushroom. Uh -huh. So she told me after the service, let's talk. So mm -hmm. we talked mm -hmm. and she told me we must be in a group mm -hmm. of 15 people. Mm -hmm. So the hustle was to look for 15 people. To start. I started with my, my high school mates, my mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. we, uh, with no time, mm -hmm. we were 15. Mm -hmm. So we started. Mm -hmm. But as you said, I think for me it was a calling. Because mm -hmm. all of them, nobody did mushroom. Of the 15? Nobody finished the class. Uh -huh. I had to pay mm -hmm. for the year absence. Because oh. this is how it worked. Uh -huh. The lecturer was not coming if we have not paid full school fees. For the 15 students in yes. that class. So I had to pay for them. Uh -huh. As with any business, persistence and passion is everything. And with Anne, it was no different. Posting her first harvest on Facebook in search of a market was just the beginning. Your journey can't have been as simple as post on Facebook, all of a sudden you have no clients, now you're on TV, you're famous. Hey, yeah. Ebu, you listen, mm -hmm. my mushroom journey, mm -hmm. the, after I posted on Facebook, mm -hmm. I, I had to carry them from home, mm -hmm. like a small farm, mm -hmm. or from the other farmers who are bringing. Mm -hmm. I would sit at Kenya National Archives waiting for my farmers to bring mushroom. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a store. Mm -hmm. Then I would put them in a big, you know those big bags? Mm -hmm. Then I would move around with them, I would hawk. I actually used gotcha. to walk mushrooms. Hey. Beba, 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 mushroom. Mushroom. No, not 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 <laughs> beba, beba. I would put them in a bag, <laughs> then I move from salon to salon. Then if if you place an order, if you find the, the, the tag on Facebook, you place an order, mm -hmm. I would come to your office mm -hmm. and then I would ask you, can I sell to your colleague? So I would, I would, I would get out of that office with an extra customer. So I would go to salons, kinyozi, mm -hmm. as in for me it was let us sell. Any customer is a customer. Is it because you had uh, more mushrooms than available clientele at the time, that's why you had to poke around? Or is it that the demand is not there? Two things. I was getting the mushrooms from the farmers and I was creating a customer database. For me, it was never enough. I sell three pieces. No, mm -hmm. I, it's three today, tomorrow ten. The other day, fifteen. Mm -hmm. I had to grow. I you had to, to move. Increase your I sales. had to move. Take us through the process of getting this final product. Okay. As you can see, it has a Delight Mushrooms logo. Mm -hmm. This is our logo. It's my own company. Mm -hmm. That means it's local. Mm -hmm. Everything is local. Mm -hmm. Now, the Reishi Ganodama Habo tea mm -hmm. It looks like this, the red, it's red in color. Mm -hmm. The shape looks like fibroids, mm -hmm. okay, because it's associated with, with helping uh, the fibroids, mm -hmm. okay. Now, we process it, we harvest it when it looks like this. Mm -hmm. We dry it, mm -hmm. then we grind it into mm -hmm. powder form. First That's of all, you can see it here. how do you plant it? We, we, we grow it on logs. Mm -hmm. It's a bit different from the normal mm -hmm. mushrooms because this one is hardwood. Mm -hmm. It's a log. Ganodama is a hardwood log. Mm -hmm. So we grow, we grow it on logs, mm -hmm. okay, in a, in a big place. And the mbegu na weka kwa Yes, it has the, the logs, same seeds. Spawns. Yes, it has the same spawns. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. And then we let it now grow naturally. Mm -hmm. Now, when we harvest, it looks like this. Mm -hmm. Then we dry it mm -hmm. and we ground it into powder form. Mm -hmm. Then it looks like this. Pure so reishi. That is this in powder form. Mm -hmm. Then now, we pack it also mm -hmm. in tea bags. Mm -hmm. But it's the same product, the same quantity, the mm -hmm. same price. How often do you plant? How often do you harvest? Uh, we, do, we do in bulk, bulk harvesting mm -hmm. and also bulk processing. Because mm -hmm. uh, we want it to, to move fast and mm -hmm. also we want to, to get a good profit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are these um, products made from the ones you grow alone? Or do you have other farmers as well who do Ganodama that you buy from them? Currently, I'm growing it with my lecturers. Okay. Because we want to create the awareness and we want Kenyans to appreciate the local one. Because mm -hmm. they are so into the Asian. We want the, 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 the market to recognize that there is a local Ganodama. Mm -hmm. We want the Kenyans to appreciate it. Then at least we can, have, we can, have, we can go increasing the number of people who are growing it. Mushrooms are associated with many health benefits. They help decrease the risk of obesity and overall mortality, diabetes, heart disease, increased energy, and overall low weight. A mushroom truly is a wonderful plant. Let's go back a bit to your mushroom journey. So yeah. you, 
this this one year 2011 mm. that's when you studied and you started your project yes okay mm. and then what, what what particular type of mushroom did you start with did you discover Ganodrama or along the way or you started with any other actually during during the classes we did the oyster mushrooms mm. but we studied all of them the baton the shiitake, the mm. reishi, all mm. of them. Mm. But the lecturer, we, we, our subject was the oyster. Mm. But now, after I finished mm. the project, mm. and I got into the market, mm -hmm. not everybody is a fan of oyster. Mm -hmm. Not everybody is a fan of baton. Yeah. So the day I hit the market with the oyster, they were mm. like, I want the baton. Mm -hmm. That's when I had to call my lecturers mm. and ask, where do I get the baton? Mm -hmm. So the connection of baton farmers mm -hmm. came in. Mm -hmm. So along the way, as I kept on selling mm -hmm. and explaining to customer, the most thing that intrigued me mm. and made me fall in love with mushroom mm. was the nutritional value. Mm. Yes. Did you know mushroom is a vegetable protein product? Yes, it is the meat in the vegetable world. Thank you. Yes. So, even for small children, mm. just make for them soup. Yeah. That's enough composition, mm. vitamin, mm. mineral, protein, mm. amino acid, name it, it is there. Mm. So that, with, with the current health issues we have, Yes. Made, just the theory mm -hmm. made me fall in love with mushroom. Seeds of gold, we love math mm -hmm. because uh, mushrooms, those are the seeds. Mm. Gold, that is the translation that would actually make you afford to say I am done with the hotel industry. Kabisa. Isa Tandio, Kaziyama. Yeah. How much would you say your process um, you know, spends you know, mm -hmm. from when you have to grow the Ganodama. Mm -hmm. Actually, how long also does it take before you get the Ganodama mushroom mm -hmm. for, for it to go to the processing plant? Uh, Ganodama takes around six months. Six months. Yeah, for it to grow because it's it's a uh, fiber. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a hardwood mm -hmm. uh, and it grows on logs. Aha. Uh -huh. So it, it grows in a natural way, mm -hmm. but uh, it needs care. Okay. Of course, just like any other mushroom. Yeah. Then from there, we just harvest. Mm -hmm. We dry them, mm -hmm. grind them into powder, mm -hmm. and pack. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, your process. Yeah. In a just rough estimate, mm -hmm. how much does it cost? Well, uh, for one to start from zero to the end, mm -hmm. it would cost you for just quarter ton. Mm -hmm. It would cost you three hundred to four hundred thousand for a quarter ton. That is why Ganodama is expensive. Uh -huh. Yes. And then when you eventually sell it. Mm -hmm. At what rate mm. would you sell them for? Uh, like, let, let me show you how we, we okay, do it. Okay. We do it in grams. Okay. Because we can't sell in kilos. Okay. So we do. Yeah. This one. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These two products are the same. Mm -hmm. Only the packaging which is different. This is different, okay. This is tea bags. Mm -hmm. This is loose powder. Mm -hmm. Just like the normal loose tea. Okay. This is 650 shillings. The 650 shillings for. Uh, this? 50, what, grams. I mean, 50 grams. 50 grams, okay. 650. Mm -hmm. 20 pieces of tea bags, mm -hmm. 650, same price. Mm -hmm. Now, we are the cheapest in the market. Mm -hmm. We'll be impressed to know. Mm -hmm. We are the cheapest in the market. Mm -hmm. All the foreign Ganodama that comes from Asia, mm -hmm. rates from 3,000 to 10,000. Mm -hmm. All these For the same quantity. For the same, no, even less. Mm -hmm. Even less. Mm -hmm. All these multi-level companies, mm -hmm. that's, that's what they are selling. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very expensive. Mm -hmm. But as we want to cater for the common monanchi, mm -hmm. because we are also creating awareness, mm -hmm. I want as many Kenyans to consume Ganodama, mm -hmm. just have the health benefit of mm -hmm. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. from weight management, mm -hmm. reducing cholesterol, because mushroom has no cholesterol in it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Uh, control of the blood sugar, mm -hmm. immune boosting for Im 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 immunosuppressed uh, people, mm -hmm. for it's anti-tumor, mm -hmm. antioxidant. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't want something that is antioxidant? Mm -hmm. It fights your body against it's free radicals. It's a powerful product. Yaradama is powerful. So you said for a quarter a ton, mm -hmm. that's, you said that that's around how much? It will cost you from 300 mm -hmm. to 400,000. 300 to 400,000. Yeah. And when eventually you Up sell, to the end up to of the whole, the whole process. Because now me, I do the whole thing. Yes. I grow it, I process it, yes. I pack it, yes. I make sure it reaches you. The customer. Yeah, the, the customer. Right. So now yeah. take out your pen and paper and do the math for yourself. 650 shillings for 50 for grams. Yeah. So take that from their quarter a ton for 300 to 400. Find the math. Now, <laughs> other than, uh, other than, you know, you have, who exactly comes for uh, training and talks mm -hmm. on uh, ratio? Is it just customers or mm -hmm. people interested in mushrooms or mm -hmm. people interested in health mm -hmm. matters? Who exactly do you talk to? 
anybody over 18. Mm -hmm. Anybody over 18. Mm -hmm. Our farm is open. Old people, young people, you'll be impressed when you come on Saturday. Mm -hmm. The farm is full of anybody and everybody. Mm -hmm. Farming is no longer women. Yes. It's no longer just the old. It's no longer it's everybody. for retirement to cure 50 we are and talking, 70. We are talking of a product that you're going to grow in a 10 by 10 room. It's no longer about the land. It's this a room. True. It's structures. Mm -hmm. You can do even with a mud house, like you saw the one in Dagoretti. Mm -hmm. You don't need to have extravagant things. Just this, this is to encourage even the young people mm -hmm. who think that uh, farming is expensive. Farming is cheap, farming mm -hmm. is cool. Just need the passion. And Just the dedication. Don't come, don't come to mushroom without a passion. This is Shock true. on you, you're mm -hmm. going to lose everything. Any any farming venture, don't go into Don't go without a passion. With, yes. First understand what is it that you want mm -hmm. and also have an exit plan. Mm -hmm. Your drive was Itself. You, an internal drive that yes. has helped you achieve yeah. what you've achieved Remember, so I, w I didn't have a job. I, I had just quit my job yeah. and I was looking for a retirement plan at mm. the age of 30. Mm. Really? Mm. Yes. So mm. when I had it, I had to run with it. Mm. Okay. And here we are. Mm. Yes. And now, but of course, you collaborate with other mushroom farmers in the mushroom oh, business. Let me, let, I tell you what, I'm humbled. Mm. I'm the vice chair lady. Of the Jami Mushrooms Association of Kenya. <laughs> there is a mushroom association. I oh, tell it you, is yes. not a big already. <laughs> yes, there is, there is. And we have all academias on the table. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have representatives from all academias on the table, mm -hmm. parastatos, mm -hmm. strong individuals in the market, mm -hmm. key players, mm -hmm. key, key shareholders, mm -hmm. key stockholders of mm -hmm. the business. Mm -hmm. From the whole value chain, mm -hmm. input suppliers, we are all there. Mm -hmm. Why? We want to forge a better tomorrow mm -hmm. for mushroom. Mm -hmm. And we want Kenyans to start believing in Kenyan mushroom. We want them to consume the Kenyan Ganodama. We have to do that. Mm -hmm. So in our association, I have over 4,000 farmers mm -hmm. and our list. And my farmers can tell you, 99% of them, they have never seen me live. Uh -huh. They only see me on TV. <laughs> Why? I don't care mm -hmm. where you grow the mushroom. Yes. As long as when they get to my shop in the house, yes. they are number one. Yes. Clean. Yes. Fresh. Yes. And grown in a good environment. Yes. I'll buy yeah. and I'll sell. I don't discriminate. Uh -huh. Yes, that's why I've managed to stay in the market. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank. Thank. Why? I shake your hand. <laughs> thank you very much, Anne. Thank, thank you very you, much. Thank this you, has thank been you. a huge, huge thank motivation, you. and we love your passion. That is what farming should be about. Yeah. Passion. Yeah. One last word to every Kenyan out there. Now. To every Kenyan out there, my vision is Anne Kimathi, my vision in Delight Mushroom is to make sure that mushroom is appreciated and the rate of consumption has gone up and there is mushroom from farm to kitchen on every Kenyan table. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Keep it Seeds of Gold. Let's keep the conversation going. Hashtag Seeds of Gold TV. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook at Seeds of Gold TV. Healthy, very sweet living. I'm telling you. This is Seeds of Gold. <laughs>